Russia and China continue their joint naval military exercise in the Sea of Okhotsk. The joint Russian-Chinese naval exercise Bibu slash Interaction 2024 began Saturday in the Sea of Japan and included anti-aircraft and anti-submarine operations. A joint detachment of warships from the Pacific Fleet and the Chinese Navy practiced maneuvering, building a marching order, air defense tasks, and the protection and defense of the detachment while moored in an unprotected roadstead, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. Russian large anti-submarine destroyers Admiral Pantelyev and Admiral Tribets as well as Corvettes MPK-82 and MPK-107 were among the warships taking part in the drills, Interfax reported. China was represented by the destroyers Xining and Wuxi, the frigate Lini, and the integrated supply ship Taihu, the agency added. The U.S. announced a new military aid package to Ukraine. As part of the package, Ukraine will receive missiles, HIMARS ammunition, artillery shells, anti-tank weapons, M1117 armored vehicles, and other military equipment. This package will, for the first time, include, which can hit targets up to 110 kilometers away. This package includes the authorization of a Presidential Drawdown Authority package, which has an estimated value of 375 million US dollars, to provide Ukraine additional capabilities to meet its most urgent needs, including, air-to-ground weapons, ammunition for rocket systems and artillery, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. The new package contains, in particular, air-to-ground munitions, ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, 155mm and 105mm artillery ammunition, tube-launched, optically-tracked, wire-guided missiles, Javelin and AT-4 anti-armor systems, M1117 armored security vehicles, 
mine-resistant ambush protected vehicles, light tactical vehicles, armored bridging systems, small arms, patrol boats, demolition equipment and ammunition, spare parts, ancillary equipment, services, training, and transport. The Pentagon highlighted that this marks the 66th package of military equipment the Biden administration has supplied to Ukraine from U.S. stockpiles since August 2021. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that the United States has allocated $7.9 billion in new military aid to Ukraine and imposed new sanctions against Russia, I am grateful to U.S. President Joseph Biden, the U.S. Congress, and both parties, Republicans and Democrats, as well as the entire American people for today's announcement of significant defense related to Ukraine, amounting to a total of $7.9 billion, and for imposing sanctions against Russia, the president stated. The head of state also thanked the United States for finding a way to allocate the remaining previously designated funds to ensure that the president's authority to allocate aid would not expire before the end of the U.S. fiscal year. According to Zelensky, the new military assistance will include an additional Patriot air defense battery, other air defense systems and interceptors, drones, long-range missiles, air-to-ground munitions, and funds to strengthen Ukraine's defense industrial base. Additionally, the U.S. is expanding its pilot training program for F-16s and has imposed sanctions on Russia to limit its ability to finance the war against Ukraine. We have always valued the strong bipartisan support in the United States and among Americans for Ukraine's just cause of defeating Russian aggression, Zelensky added.